What's up everybody? Tyler Caton here with HTP. Today, I get to go over probably my favorite welding machine I have ever used. HTP here sent me their Invertake 301 AC-DC welder. This thing is an absolute monster. I've been using it every day now for about two months. And this is a giant upgrade, especially, you know, if you're gonna be working on thicker materials since we have 300 amps to play with. Let's get a closer look at the machine. Now, if you have watched the unboxing video, you got to see me take this thing apart and open all the packages, feeling just like a kid on Christmas. Maybe even more excited now as an adult because who doesn't like nice, expensive, cool toys to play with? Especially when you can melt metal with them. Now, let's talk about some of the key features that I absolutely love on this thing. The very first thing is the fact that this package all comes in with the cart and everything's built in onto the cart. My favorite thing is this smart cooler. Especially on 300 amps, you want to keep your hands cool and your torch from getting toasty. So this has the quick disconnects, which is phenomenal. The smart cooler turns off automatically when it doesn't need to be in use. And that's gonna save you for wear and tear over time. And like I said, this thing is so, so quiet. It doesn't bother me at all when I'm using it. So that's a really great feature, especially if you're working on a nice quiet day like it is in here. Now, the next feature that I absolutely love The torches. I get pretty bougie with my equipment. I really like high-end stuff. It's proven by company names, especially, you know, like a reputable company like CK Worldwide. This machine comes with a CK230 torch. Here we have a look at the front panel. And one of my favorite things about this is it's very simple and it looks clean. I've seen welders that have like 30 buttons on the front of them and it's just a mess trying to navigate through the menus and learn the machine and well on jobs time is money so i just love the clean setup here we have our select modes and this thing can do stick and it burns rod so well and then we have our voltage our amperage setup these amps are for our starting amps Tells you if you're on high frequency. I was doing aluminum, so I have this set on AC mode right now. We'll go through those menus, but it gives you your balance and frequency right here on the menu. And it even tells you polarity. You can save jobs on here. And a lot of jobs you can save. Then, you know, if you find, do a lot of repeat jobs, you find what you kind of like, you can just save it right to the machine and always go back to it. Here again, we have a nice little chart. You get your pre-gas, your slope up, slope down, and post-gas. Then if you wanna delve in a little bit deeper onto the settings, you hit the down arrow there, you have a hot start, you have your starting amps you can set, water cooler on, if you wanna turn it off, if you wanna just use air cool mode, you can. We even have a pipe mode on here, but you do need an extra tank. All right, now to the part that we all been waiting for, to see how the Invertig 301 AC-DC welder performs. Well, I can tell you already, it performs really well. Now, let's, uh, let's put the proof in the pudding. Here, I just have uh, some stainless parts. These are some eight inch, quarter inch coupons. And these are some 16 gauge parts that I'm gonna be putting together to make bracket because 300 amps you can obviously weld a lot of thick stuff, but this thing also really performs super well welding thin material. Let me get geared up and let's stack some dimes. Doing a lap joint. I'm gonna be using some 16th 308L wire. You can get this wire on HTB's website. You know, when you're going to shop and buy a 301. You can also get these pretty sweet gloves if you're gonna be a cool kid like me. Let's weld. I'm 
gonna go about halfway down this joint. And then um, set up a different camera angle so you guys can see some arc shots as well. All right, let me set up that arc shot so you guys can see what I'm seeing. And bam, here's the entire joint welded. Look at that, and you saw how smooth that was. And look at the quality of weld that you can get. So, works really well on some thicker material, but what if you have some thin parts to weld? Well, uh, luckily, we have Pulse, and Pulse is great at mitigating heat. Let's go over to the welder and set it up. So, right here you have our mode button. That's for Pulse. I use Pulse a lot on a lot of different jobs since I weld a lot of thin material. And I mean, this thing can go up to 999.9 .9 pulses a second, which is wild. Go through your peak time. And right there on your background amp, so you don't have to go through any kind of extra menus to go through everything. Uh, for this, I'm gonna go down to about 33 pulses a second. Peak time will be 25%. Background amps, 50%. And then I went to 60 amps for this. The part is made. Look at that, barely any heat affected zone at all. That's gonna be real easy to polish out if you have to. Now that we're done welding on our DC polarity, stacking some nice pretty dimes in that stainless, then in some thicker material, we can even go way thicker with 300 amps. We're gonna move on to welding up some aluminum. So what I have here is just two quarter inch parts Let's head over to the welder and we'll set up our machine. All right, since we'll be welding aluminum, I need to switch over to AC. As you can see here in the top right, we are still on DC polarity. So we'll come down here to the AC mode button, turn AC on. I'm at a 100 frequency. All right, balance setting, also pretty typical with newer machines. I'm typically between 60 to 70% on normal material unless it's something that's really dirty or if I'm welding cast. So I want to talk about another feature that I absolutely love that I've never had on any other welder that I've ever owned. It's called Asymmetric AC. Here I have it set for uh, EP. And where your balance will dictate your um, time between EN and EP, this will actually dictate your current and the arc intensity. So here I just have it set to 100% EP. That way I'll get a reduction, but if I set it like say down to 90, I'll actually get a 10% reduction on EP, which will give me a little bit less of an etch line from the cleaning action. I have machine set to 265 amps here, and then for wire, I'm just using some 4043 wire. Well, let's tack this up and we'll run some beads.
quarter inch bracket, we just weld it. Really nice clean dimes, even cleaning action. I mean, it was so smooth. Didn't fight me at all. No preheating. And that just, it welded great. Although I almost did fry that hole right there. Oops. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. I am really excited about this new product from HDP. I've used a lot of other welders within the same range and for its price and its features, it even has more features, you can't beat it. I love using this thing every single day for my jobs coming in and out of the shop. So I know we only did go over a few features on a few different types of materials today, but if you wanted to see anything specific, comment down below. I will be doing more videos on this specific machine in the future, testing some things out, doing some science experiments with the settings within the machine and delving a little deeper. I'm gonna be having a stick video coming out and we'll go into that. This thing does have pulse stick, so that's gonna be really fun to play around with and test out. So, if you guys can hit that like button, if you could subscribe, and if you wanna see uh, future videos pop up there on your phone, make sure you hit that bell. Until next time, we'll see you.